Good evening. How is everyone? I hope everyone's having a good evening, afternoon, or morning, wherever you are. Uh, because this is YouTube and it can be seen anywhere. Uh, my name is Francisco Roldan, and I'm the executive director of Musica de Camera. And this is our first virtual recital uh, for this year. Last year, um, actually, this organization was founded by the great soprano Eva de la O. And um, she, uh, this is our 40th anniversary. She ran the organization for 39 years and sadly passed away um, like a year and a half ago. Um, she made it a mission and it is a mission I wanna continue to um, promote Latin American and Hispanic musicians, uh, composers and composers. Um, and we're a non-for-profit organization. So um, if you would consider donating to our organization, it would be great. Uh, you could go to our uh, website, musicadecamara25.com. And that's camera with three A's because it's in Spanish, C-A-M-A-R-A. -A -A. Um, and if you would consider making a donation, uh, we would really appreciate it. Um, we have, we, last year we had one live recital. Uh, um, Eva de la O would have recitals every year. And um, she presented chamber music, orchestra concerts, and solo recitals. And um, last year, we did the first one in uh, February, and then the pandemic hit, and then we were not able to do any more concerts whatsoever. Uh, we had orchestra recital on concerts prepared and some other uh, chamber music, and we had to cancel all of those. This year, I've decided that it's time to get back on, um, on the horse, I guess, and to uh, do uh, virtual recitals. So uh, I'm gonna do the first recital. I'm gonna play um, a concert. And then on Thursday, April 29th, it will be the Swedish Spanish uh, pianist, Martin Soderberg. And on June 3rd, it will be the Panamanian violinist, Luis Casal, and uh, they will be playing. So I, I hope you will attend those concerts also. Uh, tonight's recital, uh, I'm gonna play music from four different countries and actually all the uh, composers were alive in the 20th century. Uh, all the composers were alive in the 20th century and uh, we'll hear the first uh, part will be from Cuba and it will be music of Leo Brower, the fantastic composer and um, the four pieces I'm going to play, the first one I'm gonna play is called Danza del Altiplano, which means dance of the high plains. And it contains, um, I guess the pentatonic scale, uh, the high plains me being the uh, mountains of the Andes, like in Bolivia, where they use a lot of pan pipes. And I think you'll hear the pan pipes and uh, some drums and maybe even some birds. So this is Danza del Altiplano by Leo Brower. Thank you. 
The next piece I'm going to play by Leo Brower is called Ojos Brujos, and it's uh, an arrangement of a popular song, a popular um, tune that uh, means uh, bewitching eyes. So this is Leo Brower's arrangement of the popular song, Bewitching Eyes. Um, the next piece I'm going to play is called uh, Cancion de Cuna, or Cradle Song. And um, again, it's also a popular tune, which is uh, called Duerme Negrito. And uh, uh, it's Leo Brower's take on Duerme Negrito by, um, it's a traditional popular tune, and uh, it's a cradle song. Thank you. 
And the last piece by Leo Brower I'm going to play is Danza Caracteristica. And uh, this one is a take on a children's song. And the children's song is called Quítate de la Cera, which means get off the sidewalk. Now from Cuba, we're going to go to the country of France for the music of Eric Satie and Claude Debussy. Eric, Eric Satie is very interesting because he was an iconoclast and uh, he really, um, as the word implies, goes went against all traditions. and. Um, he even wrote a piece for orchestra with typewriter, gun. Well, I know it's typewriter and gun. It might be a, there might be even a telephone. And it's actually a beautiful piece. I listened to it, and it's really a really nice piece. Um, he also wrote, as we know, many pieces for piano. And uh, I chose two of them. And um, what's interesting also, I, I found a quote of Eric Satie where he said, a composer shouldn't take any more time from his audience than he needs to. So I found that a very interesting uh, quote. So I'm going to play Gymnopoly number no. one that was originally for piano. And this is my transcription of it.
کنم The second piece, <clears throat> excuse me, the second piece by Eric Satie that I'm going to play is uh, his No Cien number one. And uh, this is an interesting piece in that it has no, um, no bar line. So pre, uh, composed without any uh, uh, time signature.
the third piece I'd like to play from uh, France is by uh, Claude Debussy, and it's his uh, Girl with the Flaxen Hair, uh, which um, I understand he wrote for his niece. So this is uh, the Girl with the Flaxen Hair. Again, originally for piano, and it was uh, transcribed by Julian Breen for a uh, guitar. Uh, thank you for uh, joining us at, here at uh, Musica de Camara's first virtual concert. Um, I just, um, for those who uh, just joined, I just wanted to remind you again that uh, we're a non-for-profit organization and it would be great and we would really appreciate it if you would consider donating to our organization. And um, that is at musicadecamara25.com and you can go to our website and uh, see the donation there. And um, we look forward very much to the next two concerts. Um, the next set of pieces uh, is from, um, the next set is from Spain and it's by Federico Moreno Toroba. And he was one of the first composers to answer Andres Segovia's call for new music for the guitar because um, he was playing a lot of transcriptions from older music and felt that he needed some newer music to keep the guitar alive. And uh, Federico Moreno Toroba wrote a few pieces or quite a few pieces for him. Uh, the one I'm going to play is Sweet Castellana, uh, which is, um, I guess, in honor of the Castilla, the uh, province in uh, Spain. And uh, it's comprised of three movements. It's Fandanguillo, the first movement, which is, uh, I guess the whole piece is flamenco influence, but it's Fandanguillo. The second movement is Arada, which literally means plowing. But I have a feeling that he meant um, like when the plowed field uh, after uh, they've been plowed and like a beautiful, uh, I guess, uh, rustic scene that you could see painted like in Bruegel or, 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 or some, uh, something like that. Um, and then the last moment is a danza or dance. So this is Sweet Castellana by uh, Federico Moreno Toroba. <laughs> Thank 
um, the last set of pieces I'm going to play are um, music from Haiti. And this is uh, the music of Franz Cassels, or it might be Franz Cassou, I'm not sure. I'm not a French speaker. Um, he was a composer um, who lived in the 20th century, in the uh, like mid to late 20th century, I think. I'm, I don't remember the dates. Uh, but he wrote many, many pieces for solo guitar. And um, I'm going to play three of them. And these pieces are influenced by uh, voodoo dances. So the first piece I'm going to play is called Petro. And uh, Petro is the god of aggression. Um, now, uh, it's not necessarily negative. It could also be the uh, pushing power in life, the power that um, moves things. So it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, like uh, violent aggression. It, it is violent aggression, but it could also be just ambition, uh, you know, wanting to build buildings, any uh, power to move. So this is Petro by Franz Cassels. And also I would like to thank the uh, guitarist, uh, Mark Rebo, who um, put these out and uh, put them on paper and uh, uh, thank God, because now we have this incredible music for us to play. So this is Petro. <laughs>
the second piece by Franz Cassels is called Nyan Valu, and it's a dance in honor of the snake goddess. So um, I think you'll hear some slithering going on. So this is the uh, Nyan Valu, uh, honor, in a, a dance in honor of the snake goddess. <laughs> And um, the last piece by Franz Cassels is called Dance of the Hunzis. And uh, the Hunzis are the initiates who uh, want to be priests and priestesses, priestesses, yes, in the um, Voodoo religion. So it's um, a transit type of dance uh, that uh, the initiates do before they become priests and priestesses. <laughs> Excuse my accent. And again, before I play this last piece, I just want to um, uh, direct everybody to our website, uh, musicadecamera25.com. And uh, I would also like to thank the board of Musica de Camera, who um, is so supportive and uh, keeps us going. And uh, also, I would like to thank Rob Patterson in particular, because he has uh, really helped me to uh, put all of this together. So thank you so much, Rob. Um, and um, this is Dance of the Hunzis. And everybody, please stay healthy. And uh, I guess that's, that's the best I could wish for everyone, is health. Stay healthy.
Well, thank you so much for listening. Uh, and again, I invite you to listen to the concerts in the future, which are April 29th for the pianist uh, Martin Soderberg and June 3rd uh, for Luis Casal. And they are both on Thursdays, just like tonight at 7.30 PM at this same bat channel and at the same bat time. And uh, thank you so much for listening. And I hope to see you soon again and hopefully live in the future. Take care.